sixth grade, module five, lesson 15, problem set. Number one, match the following nets to the picture of its solid, then write the name of the solid. Okay, so we have three different nets that we need to match to the three prisms. So this one, the first one, A, I noticed that they, it has rectangles, four rectangles, so these four rectangles would fold up and then these two sides would kind of flap up on the sides making a rectangular prism. So it's gonna look like that. It's the other two have triangles and that doesn't have any triangles. So B, it looks like these two triangles would fold up. I notice they're right triangles. And then we have three rectangles. So that's gonna match this one because these have, this has two right triangles right there and then you can see the three rectangles. There's one, and then one on the bottom, and one on the side. You can see the rectangles there. And then the last one, we have a square base, or it could be a rectangle, and then the four triangles would fold up to make this pyramid right here. So now we need to write the name of the solid. So we classify things based on their bases. So something is either a prism or a pyramid. And the difference between a prism and a pyramid is a prism, let's look at E and F because they're easy to compare. So a prism has two bases that are the same set. So F is a prism, it's what we've been working on. So we have prism right there, or two bases right there. So that makes that a prism because it has two bases. A pyramid is kind of what you, I don't know, maybe you've studied it in like social studies, you think of like the ancient pyramids. Um, they come to a point. So a pyramid only has one base, and then it comes to a point. And then we classify things based on their sides. So let's start with, let me get rid of my coloring here. So this we're going to call a rectangular. The base is a rectangle, so we're going to call it a rectangular rectangular and is it a pyramid or a prism? It's a prism because it has two bases, meaning we could turn it over and it would look the same. So rectangular prism. So E, this, we're gonna again classify it by the base. So that, I'm not sure if it's a square or a rectangle. So we're gonna say rectangular. And is it a pyramid or a prism? It is a pyramid. So here you can see the difference between a rectangular pyramid and a rectangular prism. So the pyramid comes to a point at the top and prism does not. It has two bases that are both rectangles. And then this top one, so again, we're gonna classify it by the base. So this time, the way that it's sitting, the bases are actually right here. So it has two bases that are triangular. So we can call them a triangular and is a prism because it has two bases. But we, if we wanna be more specific, we know it's a right, so right triangle. So let's call it a right triangular prism. Number two, sketch and fold a net, or sketch a net that could fold into a cube. So just anything that could make a cube. So a cube has six sides or six faces. So I'm going to, we need six squares. So my favorite type of net to make is one that just looks like a T. Let's pretend these are all the same size squares. Um, so this is my net. Uh, so these four sides would fold up and they would go all the way around. And then these two sides on the end would flap up to close in the cube, if that kind of makes sense. So, but there are maybe like 10 different nets that you can draw that would all fold up into a cube. So if you think of a different one, then go for it. Number three, 
Below are the nets for a variety of prisms and pyramids. Classify the solids as prisms or pyramids and identify the shape of the base. Then write the name as a solid. So for A, what I notice is it has two of these shapes that would fold up to be the bases. So since there's two of them, that would make this into a prism. So this is a prism. What kind of prism? Well, this is a, it has one, two, three, four, five sides. So it's a pentagon. And so we're gonna call it a pentagonal prism. All right, the next one, this only has one base, meaning that it is a pyramid. And the shape of the base is a rectangle. So it's, this is a rectangular pyramid. Okay, the next one looks like this would be the base and then the other three triangles would fold up. So there's only one base, which makes it a pyramid. And what kind of pyramid? It's the base is a triangle, so it's called a triangular pyramid. All right, over here we have two triangles. That would be our bases. And then it would fold up into a, a prism because it has two bases. So this is a prism. And what kind of prism? Well, the bases are triangles, so this is a triangular prism. And then this E, looks like we only have one base, and it is a hexagon. So since we only have one base, this is gonna be a pyramid. And it's a hexagon, so it's called a hexagonal pyramid. And then F, the last one, our two bases are right here. Since there's two of them, it's a prism. And what shape is the base? The, ba the base is a rectangular rectangle, so it's going to be a rectangular prism.